Okay, video number three. All right, so we started our database in mount mode. So now we're in the mode that we need to be in in order to recover our database. Now we already restored our database by copying the files back to the primary disk location from our backup location. But now what we have to do is we need to recover our database. And we recover our database with the following command. Recover database until cancel using backup control file. Okay, so that's recover database until cancel using backup control file. Now before we issue this command, we forgot to do one thing. We forgot to bring back our archive log files. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. And we're going to copy from our backup location back to our primary location. And you'll notice that there's 14 files. This is important. Okay, I'm going to show you something pretty, uh, pretty neat here. If you'll notice... If we go back up here if it hasn't if, if it hasn't scrolled off that is uh, which it looks like it has darn it okay but if you'll 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 notice that you have three file um after my girlfriend Minka I'm trying to think if I remember correctly here I hired three people my father rich my friend rich and my friend mark that's that's three people okay so 12, 13, and 14 are um, are three log files that we're gonna that we're really gonna be uh, playing with here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we type in recover database until cancel using backup control file. And bear with me, this stuff gets crazy real quick. And we hit enter. Now it's now asking us for a log file sequence. It's asking us for log file number. 11 okay so we say yes to it so we hit enter to apply log 11 to this backup okay when it's done it's going to ask for the next number 12 so you see where the sequence comes into play now it's asking for number 12 we're going to say cancel here okay so i'm canceling the recovery media recovery canceled now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the database in read only mode Alter database open read only. Now I'm going to select my employee table and I see that I only have my girlfriend Minka in there. So I'm going to shut down this database that's in read only that's opened in read only mode currently. And I'm going to restart it in mount mode. And I'm going to continue my recovery. And it should ask for log file 13 this time. And, and there, um, I'm sorry, log file 12 this time. So now it's asking us for log file number 12. We hit enter to apply 12. Now it's asking for 13. We're going to say, no, we don't want to apply 13 yet because I'm proving a point. Now we're going to, alter our, we're going to open our database read-only. Open our database again, read-only. And now if we do a select on the employees table, we now see my father, Rich B, is now added to the employees table. Now we're going to go ahead, shut down the database again. Start it up again in mount mode. And we're going to kick off the recovery again. And it's going to ask us for the next archive log in the sequence, archive log 13. We're going to apply that and hit cancel when it asks for 14. Okay. Now, we're going to open our database read-only again, and we're going to select from that table again, and we see that my buddy now, Rich Davis, Rich D, 
is now in that table. So we're going to shut down our database again. So this is not tedious at all, huh? And we're going to start up mount again. Now you don't have to do this. I'll show you in a sec. You don't have to do this when you recover. Okay, I'm just proving. I'm just showing you guys how this is done. And now we're going to do our recovery again. Now it's asking for log 14. We hit enter. And it's asking for 15. We hit cancel. And we do alter database open read only again. Now when we do a select, we see my, my buddy Mark D is now in that table. Now you'll notice that every time we apply a log, we're getting another entry in the table. Why? Because every time I did an insert after that entry, if, if, you, if you remember, all right, I did an archive log switch. So I insert my, my father's name. I did a switch. I insert my friend Rich's name. I did a switch. I insert my friend Mark's name, and I did a switch. Okay, so now start up mount, and we're going to see if it has any more archive logs that it needs to apply. Okay, the recovery should tell you when it's done applying logs. So now we're going to do the recovery again, and it's asking for number 15. Now, there's something interesting about this. Okay, we'll do cancel for a second. If you look at your archive logs, you'll notice that you only, it only goes up to 14. You only have 14 logs. So why is it asking for 15? Well, there's a reason for that, all right? And I'll explain that in another video, which is going to be part of an internal series of videos I'll, um, I'm going to have out on YouTube, which are, which are probably out there if, like, if you're reading this video already, I mean, if you're viewing this video already, depending on when you view this video, um, where I'll explain what all these com why these commands are doing what they're doing uh, the whole point of this video is just to show you how to do a hot backup and recovery all right not to necessarily explain everything so if I do a recover database and again it's gonna ask for a log it doesn't have 15 all you do is type in cancel now what you do is you open your database alter so basically you just recover up through how many logs you have Okay, and the reason why it does that is that it allows you to recover as much of the database you want or as little as the database you want. So now we type in alter database open and it's going to say you need to do reset logs or no reset. I always do reset logs. So we type in reset logs. And now you'll see we have our database finance that has all of our data of our employees table now in a in a regular recovery scenario when I'm not trying to teach something it would go like this you lose all your files oh no okay you're called in the middle of the night. Oh, we, we lost all of our um, our database isn't working. You, you get you get a call that they're trying to connect via an application and the application can't retrieve any data. It's saying Oracle not available. You log in. You tr you do you do SQL plus. You discover that you discover that it says idle instance, which tells you that the database is down. You as the DBA attempt to restart the database. So far things are going good. You're like okay, life's good, and then it says uh oh can't identify control file. So now you know there's something wrong with the with the disk. So you do shut down abort. You notice that your files are gone. Oh no. So now you go to backup and you restore the file the copies of the files that you took and they're hot backup files and you know that. So you're, you so now you're restoring your hot backup files from your backup location. I pause the video until the restore is done. Okay, so all the files are back. Now what you do is you bring back all your archive log files as well from your backup location. Okay. And you rename your control files. Or 
Oracle will be expecting three of them. Now you do a startup mount. And you do a recover database until cancel using the backup control file. And you know that you have 14 archive log files. So you apply 11, 12, you just hit enter, 13, 14, and 15 is the last one. Cancel. And you do alter database open reset logs. And your database is now recovered with all the data. So, let's talk about the steps we went through to create an Oracle database. I mean, to create a hot backup. Okay? The first thing we have to do, our prereqs for a hot backup is archive log mode. So the database must be running in archive log mode. Okay, and how do we put a database in archive log mode? We, we set the archive log destination, which is a directory. We which we did with the alter system command, alter system set command if you remember. We shut down the database. We put database in archive log mode with the alter database archive log mode command we open database back up and um, and we did testing so that's basically what we did to put our database in high, and to put our database into backup mode I mean in archive log mode so what do we have to do to take a hot backup of DB okay well we have to put table spaces, which are basically, which is basically putting the database in hot backup mode. Then we take backup of data files, which are in hot backup mode from step from previous step. We take table spaces database out of hot backup mode then we perform an archive log switch and then we take binary backup of control file okay so here to, here's the prereq steps you need to set in order to take a hot backup of an oracle database and here are the steps you need to take um, you need to perform to take a hot backup of an Oracle database. Okay? So to put it in archive log mode, you have to set the archive log destination, shut down the database, put the database in archive log mode, and then open the database back up. To take a hot backup of an Oracle database, you put your table spaces, which is your database in the hot backup mode, you take backup of the data files, which are in hot backup mode, you take table spaces out of backup mode, okay? you perform an archive log switch and then you take a binary of a control file okay and uh, please uh, go to video 4 now for a um, extended explanation on the archive log uh, recovery